What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of the Crystal Palace Career Mode. And actually right now we start off uh, the episode managing England. Uh, we are just going to sim the international friendlies um, for England. So as you can see we sim against Canada there. You can see our lineup. Pretty typical England lineup. Uh, Tom Davies does get his first cap for England though. Uh, you know the Crystal Palace formerly of Everton guy. Getting in there, getting in the lineup, getting some experience. So that's really nice. Um, I'm actually really excited for the Euros. Looking looking forward to to doing the Euros with England. It'll all be one like giant episode, I think. That's what I'm leaning towards right now. As we do dispatch Canada, no problem. Three goals to nil. Uh, and then we play against Belgium on the Friday of the international break there. Uh, Belgium, obviously a much better team than Canada. Though we do get off to a pretty good start scoring first. But then Hazard equalizes almost immediately. Um... Hazard does miss a penalty to let us off the hook there, while Rooney scores his penalty, and it looks like we're heading for the 2-1 victory, uh, but unfortunately, right at the death, um, Kevin De Bruyne is going to uh, get a goal. I'd like to imagine he hit a free kick or something like that, and uh, and does tie it up at 2-2. Two to two. So, there are four games in this episode. It is a little bit short. Actually, this Chelsea game, that's our lineup. Nothing happened. Literally nothing happened. Like... I mean, I was looking through. Uh, it says we had a bunch of shots, but, you know, it wasn't great. Um, we definitely dominated the game, um, but no goals to show. So, unfortunately, not a ton of highlights from that game. So, we will jump right into the next game, Liverpool. Just a couple of days later, um, we do have to switch the lineup up a little bit because of that short time span. Uh, we get Pulisic out for Townsend. Sako in for Nkudu? Did I do? Oh no, I played this guy, Griffiths. Um, take a look at him. Pretty good little left midfielder there. Four star, four star, out of the academy. Um, hopefully he turns into a, a decent player for us. Uh, but we do jump right into the Liverpool game here, and we don't get much action until the second half when Henderson wins the ball off of MacArthur into Roberto Firmino. Firmino just hammers it past Lafont. And, you know, I was really happy with Lafont um, buying him originally. But our defense has just been terrible, and he lets in so many goals. It's, it's really, really frustrating. I saw a graphic. We, um, we're the worst team in the Premier League when it comes to conceding goals. Although we do score goals pretty well now, uh, given our new January signing signings. Um, and particularly when we consider the people that are coming in over the summer, we made some really, really good um, pre-contract signings. But... Um, in the here and now, we do actually equalize against Liverpool. Benteke wins that ball, brings it down, and slots it past the keeper uh, on his on his uh, left side of the goal there. Um, so we do end up... Oh, uh, whoops. Sorry about that. I didn't leave in the um, the game recap. But we do end up drawing that game 1-1. One -one. Um, then I just wanted to show this is our youth squad at the moment. we got a couple of really good prospects in there, a couple of good goalkeepers uh, in particular. Uh, but then we jump into this game against Bournemouth, and there are more goals in this game, which is really nice. This is actually a really, really good game. Uh, nothing happened at all in the first half. We are going into it in a full-strength lineup. So the first highlight you will see is from the second half, as we combine with our strikers, Jeju and Benteke. Also, Nkudu getting in on the fun, and he just ships the ball far post. Benteke gets his head on it, and nobody's saving that. Um, really, really nice goal to kick off the game against Bournemouth here and kick off the scoring. So Benteke celebrating. Um, but, you know, simple goal, simple header. Nkudu and Benteke just did their job. They did what they needed to do. Amath slash Jeju plays that ball in. He stands it up at the far post and Benteke finishes no problem. Gets taken out at the end of it by, uh, by Begovic there, but does his job. Now Kabai making moves down the field. Again, strikers try and combine, but this time Deju's tackled by Cook into Sermon. Sermon into Defoe. Defoe into, uh, I'm not sure who that was, out wide to Junior Stanislaus. Stanislaus puts the ball in the middle, and I believe it was Jimenez actually is able to slide and put that ball into the back of the net, as unfortunate as that is. Um, we do concede the equalizer, but I actually left this in. I don't. E I didn't even cut here. Um, after this replay here, I mean, it's a nice finish. He's in midair there, gets contact with the ball, but right... Oh, it was Defoe. Sorry about that. Um, so we play the ball out wide to Pulisic. Pulisic takes it past his man with ease. Looks to get a ball into the middle, and Benteke just uh, on the very severe turn there. It was a really nice finish. 
Polsic again beats his man, pushes it inside, and and Benteke. I don't even know how he scored that goal, but it's kind of twisting and rotating, and whichever way you slice it, it worked out really nicely for us. So. Bournemouth get the throw in here though, just a few minutes after we uh, took the lead again. They're in the box, they see Arter, and Arter just smashes it home. Like, I kind of, I mean, maybe it's maybe it's harsh, but I want LaFont to get a hand on that. Um, regardless, again, the striker's combining, it's a theme with this two striker set. He plays through um, the ball there, but it does get cleared out of bounds. However, from the resulting throw, Fusumensa into Pulisic, Pulisic beating men all ends up. Uh, into Benteke, Benteke into a math, a math to Milovic, and uh, Tom Davies again standing the ball up at the back post. This time Davies instead of Inkudu, but Benteke uh, completes his hat trick there. Two goals with his head. Really, really nice showing, and uh, I was happy with him able to do that. I think he does have 19 goals on the season now, which is really, really good. Um, very happy with the production from our main goal scorer. Uh, you know, he kind of carried us through the through the beginning of the season when we we're kind of struggling in the rele relegation zone, but he did end up bringing us out of it and uh, and has a good goal tally for the season so far. So we are about to jump into our final game of the episode against Brighton and Hove Albion. Um, I, I found this game hard to play. I don't know if it'll show up on the recording too much. Um, we're about to see it, but. We, we looked like it was very, very bright, and they had yellow uniforms, and our uniforms, like, blended into the shadows, and theirs blended into, like, the light parts, so it, it was a difficult game to me. Not not for me, anyway, not to make excuses, but, you know, I, I mean, I'm sure everybody's had games like that. Uh, it actually looked better on the recording that it did, like, playing it. It was like, the field was, like, super saturated with light. It was very strange. But anyway, regardless, uh, Brighton do get a ball in Lafont tries to punch it clear and that's just not good enough again from the keeper which is you know really frustrating because I don't want to have to buy a new goalkeeper I thought he would be our goalkeeper for you know the whole series but Tom Davies plays a miraculous through ball and just such a clean pretty finish from Jeju there that's why we brought him in to score goals um, what a ball from Tom Davies really really pretty ball um, we do end up tying this game one to one so you know a bit of an up and down episode couple of draws we do get that really nice win against Bournemouth and uh, we are solidly mid-table in ninth place right now. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, that's going to be it for this one. Check out other stuff on the channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.